Hello, Paul Game Shenanigans here. So I've decided to do a little last video for the last 48 hours of the Tenaris Ultimate uh, campaign. Uh, they're reaching about a million pounds now, which is 1.3 million dollars. So I think I originally predicted in my original video that it was probably somewhere between the Tenaris Adventures and RPG, and I think I'm going to be about right there. Um, I'm gonna just cover the what's been new since uh, the last video I made, and also the um, just the general stuff that you can't get in this campaign just yet, so that it might be available later in other ways. So overall, with the thoughts on the campaign, I think it's been it's been all right. I think that some of the things they've added in, there's nothing too major for people um, who already have the game. I think that. Everything's quite reasonable. It's like just small like upgrades here or there with a tiny bit of new content, which I think they've got to convince you to buy it in some way. And I think that's why there is like a little bit of new content, like the Arena the Contest campaign remake and the new miniatures and monsters and things that they're adding in. But overall, I think that uh, campaign's been really pretty good and I've enjoyed the game so far so if you haven't watched my other videos I've done a video covering the campaign when it launched and I've done a first impressions video of the game so just to move on through um, what things have been added um, this is the new stretch goal content here so they have all these new monster minis that have been added in and they're also added in miniatures for all the Kemet lords like the main uh, characters that all you know will be in the story in the game before you just use generic Kemet miniatures except for Gulog the the leader now they've replaced them all with all these different ones which were represented by like the spy the necromancer the warrior the berserker all the different generic minis you'd have in the game and then they're adding new structures which are the like the ones for the city phase uh, artifacts like new like weapon type cards, new NPCs, new attack cards for um, characters, uh, new heroes. So uh, Sara, Hurdi, and Zalia—they're already miniatures in the game, and I think they already originally planned to make these guys characters because their miniature design look like characters. Because you can tell by the the bases that if they're going to be playable, they have this like curved base. So these ones. I think they probably they wanted them in originally, but you know, time constraints and through the, you know, maybe it was stretch goals that they put to the side and did other things instead. They're also adding the Dragon Queen to be used in Tenaris, which it was up previously. It's only a special hero in the um, original Arena of the Contest version of the game, the PvP. So now they're making a, a version for Tenaris as well. And then they're going to change endings, have some new secrets, which are like little envelopes and things, which originally, uh, I think they planned to do this in the original game, but it never actually got around to it. So it was like cut from Tenaris, but now they're bringing it back in this campaign as well. Uh, some new quests and new mini games, and there's definitely some more here, which is not covered, but just to flick through, they're going to do a surprise at the end. There's a new mini game, new artifact, new arts in journal. New NPCs, new secrets, and that's the current goals they're going for, which I think they'll get up to here quite easily. Um, and they will need a box for all this as well, because it's all this new content. Um, but other than that, uh, campaign's still the same as it was, really. It's Arena, Tenaris, one big box, that's the main thing they're trying to sell. And then they did the Sandy version, which they've took some feedback on because this didn't come with the additional campaign the arena the contest version and the i think the one from the penumbral pack ones those campaigns weren't included but they've changed their mind and put a little add-on in for 19 dollars where you can pick those up um so well, i'll skip through over these pledge levels because i did cover it in the first video i did but um generally this is the all-in you get the dragon you get the gold, the gold dragon, all the big monsters, the minis, and this is like two massive cubes, which is the new storage solution they're going with. Uh, and Fortel is included in this one as well, and that new phoenix, which they were showing at the top, um, in the top of the image for the top stretch goals, that's included there as well. But just to cover for like returning, uh, they've got the new books, new cards, and this one has, I think, 
I don't know if it comes with every stretch goal. I think all stretch goals are in the 89 only, which is um, just where, you know, the new boards, new boxes, new books, new cards, you know, and then the stretch goals. And then now they've gone in with the deluxe version of the pledge, which is all these new upgrades that they've added in since day one after the first day of the campaign. So you've got the... Um, all the stuff in the returning back up bundle above and then they've added now plastic dashboards which the game did meet, need more of a deluxe version of that because it was just you know cards and you just put them on the board and now they've had extra tokens plastic boards so you get four of those and that one's it says free because it's like you know the take he's taking the savings off there and i think this comes in the all-in as well this one um of these new upgrades um but i think this one does too i think that's why these are both free because it means that you're getting the discount but also all in people are getting these which is the new phoenix mini which have just announced and these dashboards uh then they've got tokens which um if you watch my uh, first impressions there i was you know the, the the mini the tokens they use for these were quite small and not as good as the other tokens in the game so upgrading that is a, is a plus because it's you know, the ones that weren't as good and they're doing resources which i think some people are a bit annoyed about um because you know they're different shapes so you're reaching the bag and know what loot you're getting but you could easily you know do it easily just like grab the first one you touch or just tip them out the bag and see what you get you know the first four that fall out that's what you're getting you know so there's all there's ways around it you don't have to do what um just reach in and feel around you could work around that and they've also added a dice tray which you know, I don't know if you'd need that for the um, Tenaris itself because you're just rolling like one or two dice max at a time. I think this is better for the linking with the RPG, to be honest, the uh, Tenaris RPG. Uh, and it also says we're adding a surprise tomorrow. So that's somewhere later today. There's going to be something new added in, uh, which uh, will be included in this pledge for everyone as well and probably might be in the all in as well. So they haven't updated this yet with the pledge breakdown, so that new one will be here. And they haven't got any of these new add-ons added in here either. So um, just a quick run through. Uh, so upgrade kit for returning people, all the new stuff to make the game like the version 2. Then you've got storage solution, the two big boxes to put everything in, which include um, the ones in the uh, all-in here, which is the uh, storage solution. It fits in the all the arena Teneris and also has a legendary and penumbral box in them that's those ones with the blue ticks so all of them fit into that storage solution then you have the new world board which changes from paper to cardboard you've got audio narration with foretailer here for this 25 and it's only included in the the all-in so it's not even included in the deluxe um bundle here so you still gotta buy this it's not included in this new pledge yet and then this is just the game with the Teneris and arena and um uh standees but just the co-op version of the game not the pvp i think that's something i got wrong in the last video it's just the, the co-op um then you have the ultimate uh, the normal game it's just arena Teneris with medusa and the new upgrades they've added in and then the Silver Dragons, the new um, dragon they've added in, which is the one that was the 24-hour bonus, which, if you're like 6,200 backer, I think, around that much, um, it's it's on the one of the updates. Uh, that's where you get that for free if you backed for $89 in the first few day, in the first 24 hours. Uh, and you can buy it for 29 on top. It's not included in the deluxe bundle either. It's only included in the, the all-in one. But then you've got uh, all these other ones that were from the previous campaigns. Gold Dragon was the 24-hour bonus from the RPG. Penumbral Tarask is the um, one of the stretch goals from the RPG, which is, these are both bosses. One's, I think this one's in Teneris, this one's in the uh, Penumbral Quest um, campaign. Uh, Legendary Box is all the additional content from the original Arena the Contest campaign. It's like the stretch goals and the that the dungeon separate box and the hydra and all these other extra stuff in one big box uh penumbral box full is all the rpg content besides the big bosses it's the um 
Penumbral box uh, original, the Penumbral pack, and then it has the class pack, villains pack, um, and um, all the other ones there. There's a few more. There's mystical pack, scenario pack, and one, and, and there's one more that's going off my head, but I've been like the hero pack, I think. So there's like all these little boxes banged into one big one now. They're trying to sell it together. A dragon collection was in the original Teneris campaign, and it came in like the first wave. It was the five big dragon monsters and the uh, dragon queen. So the dragon queen's in here now. So there's a hero in this. So if you want all the heroes, you can have to get the dragon collection as well. And uh, the madness box is all the seven boss minis from the Teneris uh, stretch goals as well. And then this is all painted stuff that you can get on top. Uh, so if you want like just uh, gameplay, um, I think that you can maybe stop with like the old drawing. You don't know if you need that because uh, you can. I think you can proxy in what you need. Uh, maybe the Tarask you do need because it is like a boss that you fight. I don't know if what cards come in these. I think some of them just come with boss versus boss cards, but some actually come with other content you might need in the game. Uh, Legendary box has got characters and bosses and minis and monsters, so you would need that. Uh, Penumbral as well, you'd need both of those, especially that's got a lot more gameplay in. And then I think the dragons, it's mainly the boss versus boss content, except now they've got the dragon queen in there, so that you got to keep that one in mind. And then the madness box is, I think, just minis, so that one, uh, I think there's a way you can just play without that, so... Keep some of that in mind, depending on what you really want. Um, it is good to get the minis. They are quite, you know, nice. The, um, they're all good minis in the game, I think. There's not really um, that many bad ones. I tried looking and trying to see what are the worst minis, but I think most are passable. Like, there's a few, like the Prisoner from the original Arena. That one's a bit bland. Like, there's a three of those, but they're more like just a token stand-in, really. So it's like, you know, it's a bit punish it, punishing it for, for being, like, a basic token really but it's actually more a better looking than a token so you know it's quite a a good looking game overall um and i did cover that in my impressions as well uh so there is the three type of pledges to go through standy ultimate super box i've uh, covered this before um this is just the two big boxes with all the main content in and then Let's just get into the new add-ons, I think. Um, so the Phoenix, you get this if you buy the new deluxe um, uh, set for returning backers, or if you get the all-in. So you get one big mini, and this is like uh, LinkedIn. Well, they spelled Phoenix wrong. Terrible. Come on, guys. Wait a minute. And miniature, isn't it? Isn't it a mini eye? I think so. <laughs> I don't know. Well, let's see that one. Then they got a dice tray. Uh, nice looking fake leather dice tray. Uh, it's got the same cover from the um, standee box on it at the moment. Um, could change. But that's another add on the bin in. It's quite a basic one, really. Nothing too special. You get 60 resources, and this does actually replace cards. So you have a little deck of loot cards, and you can use this instead. So uh, if you don't if you don't like shuffling cards, it's going to make it much easier just to grab what out what out of the bag that you want. Uh, the lux tokens. I've already covered this this then. Uh, did you replace those t tiny tokens for the six status conditions that have little tokens and that's actually a, a better improvement as well because those tokens are double sided so you do have to rummage around because you're like well which which one of these do I want and you just kind of flip them over until you find the right token so this does make it easier just to pull out um, the condition you need uh, and then the dashboards which I think they're probably the best the new upgrade they've put in here I think is you know it fits for if you're playing solo you can put three uh, companion comrades on there and then if you're playing on a normal board you can put you have the tokens on the bottom for each character class and then you've got space for a dice uh, you can put your uh, weapons on the side you can put your cards on the right uh, like the specials and then all your main ones on the front and then your character card on the left and you can fill in your cubes in these little rows so there's quite a lot there to store all your stuff on 
Uh, whether it fits all the cards sleeved, you've got to make sure that happens. So it, you know, doesn't have to take your sleeves off because, you know, all of these cards had sleeves in the from the last campaign. And is that extra um, extra campaigns, which are the the new arena remake and the one from the RPG, which is from the Penumbral pack as well. And um, Fortel is still an option if you want to just narrate all the story. And then, like I said, you just there's all the stuff that they've got. It just goes on and on and on. All the stuff that they've made for this game because we're four campaigns in, and there's so much new stuff to cover. And a lot of these little other packs. Ah, that was it. Character pack. That's the one I forgot. Um, so this is all the stuff that uh, you can still pick up in the pledge manner. This is the confirmed stuff uh, that wasn't. Uh, you can't buy at the moment through the campaign, but they're going to be available later. And they've added a bit more, and then here's all the stretch goals. So just to cover the ones we didn't see before, uh, say all the different Kemet Lords, a new quest for the Silver Dragon, uh, Zalia as a hero, so new cards added in. Then you've got the new minigame, new uh, artifact, NPC, it, it, generally like that, really, just new cards here or there. That's what they've been added in. Playable Dragon Queen, which is required, so you've got to have to buy the collection for this now uh, if you want to play this in Teneris, which before it was just PvP. Uh, new NPC, and I think one of these NPCs is from um, Harakiri, and I think one's from Dungeon Universalis, so they've got more crossovers added into the game. Uh, again, Hurdin, uh, and I think that is that the chest. Mini the the mimic because the, the, I didn't play as the mimic uh, which we're using the chest mini that's the one that won I think that's the one I voted for as well uh, yeah just generally other uh, things ninjas secrets more minis more quests for the so there's two quests for the silver dragon Sara is a hero Tengu minis all this different stuff that they've added in really so it's quite a lot there still the same type of videos here. I uh, got some more. Still got social goals to do. Um, I'm sure someone would have done this by now. I thought, like, Simon shared it, I think, and they have more than 100k. So wouldn't that count? Or does that have to be a person? Well, I thought a company would count. Or whatever. Uh, yeah, and shipping. I think they've up updated the shipping just a bit. Um, uh, not too much difference, to be honest. I think they, they might have just added in this top end one, which, um, I mean, this is a Brazilian game, and I, I wouldn't even call that friendly with those prices, to be honest. <laughs> That's not, well, I mean, it's just the way the world is, really. Like Brazil, it's really hard to get things there, I guess. Um, but yeah, that's the gist of the new updates for the campaign. Uh, just going to go through now quickly the stuff that um, actually hasn't been confirmed in the campaign uh, that it's coming. Yeah, so this is from the Enhancements uh, book, which is a um, little a, a additional book they've added in to show how to store the game with the current uh, game as it's been released. So this is everything that's been released for the game like as of today. So numbered up, uh, all this stuff's coming back now. We've got Teneris, Arena, Legendary Box, all this is in the Penumbral pack full for up to the Mystical pack. Uh, Madness Box coming back. The Minis, Dragon Collection coming back. Gold Dragon's coming back. Dread, the first one, which is the Tarask. It's just different name here. That's the name of the monster. Uh, Hero Pack 2 is just updated heroes which go into the Legendary Box. So that will be included too. And then the Green Dragon Painted is confirmed to come back. It's just a painted version of the Dragon from Arena the Contest. And then Medusa was confirmed also because it comes with the new Teneris bundle. And that is just an improved version which will probably be concluded as well in the new Dragon Collections. So everything I've highlighted in red here, uh, it could be in the Pledge Manager later or it might not, um, depending on what it is. So you've got the Elder Dragon, which is from the original Arena Contest. You've got Game Boards 1 from the original Arena Contest, Game Boards 2 from the Teneris Adventures. Sleeves for both RPG cards and sleeves for Teneris, which you will need both of these if they do decide to split them up again. If they're all going to be one new bundle for sleeves, then you can get them all. Um, 
there was issues with these sleeves they were a bit small but if you put the cards in right and flatten them down a bit they all kind of work out for definitely for the, the larger sleeves there for the like the player board ones and um, these sleeves it says RPG it, it includes this is for the penumbra stuff as well so that's included as RPG content because that's where it came from that campaign uh, dice bags I got two of these from the original um, campaign and they give you like 16 dice each it's pretty good and then you have plastic tokens which are also a good improvement which were added in the pledge manager for Tenerys Adventures um, so just to cover a bit, a bit individually, the Elder Dragon was from the original arena, same with these double-sided boards, so both of these could be in the pledge manager as well, they give you alternative boards with different art on them, um, this image is an old image, they're not actually representative of what's actually on these boards, this one, uh, they're actually different than that, and the Elder Dragon, it does look a bit like that, that's kind of how it is, so... It's a nice big mini, which is, I think it's probably still the biggest one they have for the game. So um, these ones are available. This one, I think it can be used in like boss versus boss and things as well. And there is like a way to fight it, like a quest to fight it in the original. And I think they, they must include something for this to refight it in Tenaris, I think. I mean, if they're going to remake Arena the Contest uh, campaign, then they should. Um... Then they had uh, the sleeve add-on for the original Tenaris and board scenarios. And, you know, keep an eye on the prices because these might not keep. Um, they could be more expensive or less. Um, this is another four-board pack as well. And I think these ones actually are a bit more accurate. They do look like this, these ones. So uh, there's, there's, there's eight. Uh, yeah, there's four in each. There's two double side boards each. So you get four big chunky boards with two sides on each. And then they're going to add another one with the new uh, city board, world phase board. There's another new board with that as well. So then you'll have 10 boards plus the original. So there's 12 boards total in the game. And just to also cover that the RPG content um this probably won't be available in the pledge manager for this game but they will be reopening the pledge manager for the rpg whenever the shipping and taxes are going to be paid so there'll be stuff there if you want to get absolutely everything there's more stuff available so you had the original essential kit bundle which has um, a book and this can come in white or black and then you have the three large books in that you have uh, a large uh dashboard to play an RPG uh, and a large map as you can see which A1 size so it's a massive map to put on a, a table and you have digital versions of like um, all the stuff you need to play the RPG like a digital map, a digital uh, character sheet uh, digital versions of the books um, and a digital um, art book as well I think um, and it would include the classes pack, but that is available, so I'd cross that out. Uh, they also did a stretch goal for a new art book, which is the Emperor's Private Art Collection, which it was free as a stretch goal, but it will be sold as $35 now if you missed. And $49 for the dice set as well. And uh, th this might be all cheaper if there's another new bundle to get for all the RPG stuff, which was one available at the time, so it'll probably still be available for late pledge later. So this is all specific extra dice that you can use for the RPG. And then the other stuff they missed that was the there's a GMless adventure pack, which allows you to play the, the RPG without actually... Um, using a, a game master to run the game you can just play it solo or with other people and the game kind of runs it for you with cards and an extra book uh, you have the large map screen which was included in the big bundle you have dungeon maps like different little maps you can put on the table to play a, a, an rpg and then you also had power decks which are extra cards and things which you can um use and to go on from there the last few things is just to you know, there was the dice and there is the tokens that you can also use that are plastic so there are more stuff available you just have to you know weigh up what you need what you want um, but overall uh, still the campaign is still going a few more days left there's no like incentive just to throw down your money now I mean you've missed if you've missed the um, 
the, the free dragon for the 24 hours, but there'll be a late pledge available for this. There's going to be another late pledge available for the RPG. So um, just to kind of summarize it all, I think it's a really special game. It's a good game to get into. Um, definitely check out my uh, first impressions of the game so far. And if you like the game, um, please feel free to suggest any content you'd like to see on the channel. Um, you know, I'm all about interacting with people and having like um, ideas thrown around so we can I can make content that people might enjoy, really, because uh, I really enjoy this game. I think that, um, you know, um, I'm going to cover this in a separate video about FOMO, but... People like to throw that around a lot, but I think that overall it's a, um, you know, do what you want with your money, really, and, you know, just don't go overboard yourself, really. Know your own limits and enjoy yourself when you're playing board games, but also just be careful when you're on Kickstarter and online on the internet. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, thanks very much for watching this video. Uh, please have a good day. Uh, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye.